So, um, I just want to say this right off the bat, that this is not a totally horrible movie. It is not 100% horrible. Remember, I just said it wasn't 100% horrible. It is still a bad movie. It is still a horrible movie. But, first of all, let me get it off a few good aspects about this movie. First of all, I thought the visuals were actually okay as far as the action sequences go and all that. And the ghosts and all, all the cinematography for the CGI. It was way better than the original, if you've seen the original. But then again, the original is dated. It was made back in the 80s, I think. But there are a lot of things I still don't like about this movie. And also, there's some things that confuse me. I just have one question. Was this movie a rehash? Was it a reboot? Because it's never really explained in any of the promos or anything like that. Granted, three of the original Ghostbusters, because one tragically passed away, you know, R.I.P., they're in this movie, but they make weird cameos. It's really weird how they did these cameos with these the three original Ghostbusters, and they don't ever actually say if this is a reboot or anything like that, but it obviously is a reboot, but done in a very weird way. Granted, I think they could have kept the first two movies canon to this storyline and just start off from there with the original three ghostbusters being retired or outcast something like that and only for these new female cast to i don't know take their place which would have made more sense story-wise i don't know why they had to reboot the origin of the ghostbusters which was really weird chris hemsworth is in this movie thor is in this movie but i'm confused about his character i don't know why they had to make him dumb like i don't know like was it supposed to be funny like i don't understand the point of his character and that's the weird part about this movie another weird part is that the characters make weird choices and sometimes the comedy is there, sometimes they do funny things, and sometimes the characters can be interesting, but the other times, most of the time, they just make weird choices that I still cannot comprehend. Like, there's this one girl, I, I forgot her name in the movie, she wears the glasses and has, like, the weird hairstyle, you know, she's the weird girl, you know, not McCarthy, but... Yeah, like, she's supposed to be weird, but it's never actually explained what her problem is. And it's never explained, this girl right here, yeah, it's never explained, like, what her character is supposed to be. And I'm very confused about what she's trying to do on screen. Granted, sometimes I did actually find her character enjoyable. She was probably my favorite character out of the female cast. But still, I was confused about what she was trying to do. This movie has a lot of weird moments and a lot of weird character choices that... Is kind of confusing. You're, you weren't sure it was supposed to be funny, and sometimes it was a little creepy. The action sequences were great. The visuals were great. But the writing and the acting can be a little, well, off. That's the best way to explain it. I don't understand the character choices. I don't understand what they did with the original Ghostbuster cast and why they gave them those weird cameos. I don't understand why these characters make these choices and, like, I don't know. I just don't understand their characters. That's just the best way to explain it. And, you know, like I said, this movie is not completely horrible. There is some good comedy aspects. The action is great. The visuals are great. At least some of them were a little better than the originals. But you just can't help but feel like, why did they do this? Like, why did they reboot the franchise like this? Why did they give them the weird cameos from the original cast? Why... Are the characters doing the things that they're doing and the villain like what was he trying to do what was his exact motivation besides being an outcast it's not really explained that well if i had to give this movie a scale one to ten i give it about a five because i don't know what to make of it it, it is a bad movie and it does have some good qualities to it but granted i don't feel the need to ever want to watch it again i'll just kind of leave it as at that i just a little confused on why they made this movie the way they did why they left out a lot of things from the originals why they decided to rehash why are the characters doing the word choices like why is the villain like why do we have this villain if if you've seen the movie you know know what i'm talking about just the villain was just kind of a weird choice for me i can see why this movie is not getting a sequel and thank god let's just leave it at that sometimes i like the characters sometimes i think they're interesting sometimes they are funny but 
as a story narrative in a whole it this movie doesn't make a whole lot of sense and it just kind of shuns away the originals which is probably why most of the fans don't really like it how it just blatantly ignores everything about the originals and how it just gives the original ghostbusters those cameos so anyways guys that is my two cents on this movie you guys can take it how it is you can put your own comments of what you thought of this movie but i actually took the time to actually watch this movie even though I decided to skip out on it when it was aired. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I gotta go. Make sure to leave a like and sub. Peace out.